My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button, and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. We have a VOD review now, and uh, I don't know what rank this is. It's time to do some Sherlock Holmes work. He's in chat. Nat, are you in chat? It's me. I'm Iron Three. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So the second, the twenty-second guy. All right, cool. So this is Iron. Oh, we're coaching Iron. Okay. I'm bad and Sag, but here we go. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, you are cracked. Believe in yourself, okay? All right, guys. Are you guys ready to win? I am ready to be a power bottom. <laughs> That's the kind of mindset we need. Okay. Not a fan playing playing here by yourself. Crosshair placement. Not a. Okay. Oh, we can just play around Bob. You can. You do have Bob. Whoa, can careful! He could be here. Oh, he could be everywhere around you. I got shot by him near uh near their spawn. <laughs> Your teammate. What are these comms? I got shot by. Wait, what? What? Okay. All right. All right. Couple things. Couple things here. So good calm. You guys have bomb down, right? You want to play around the bomb? You, you're absolutely right. This knife out. We don't have any info. We don't know where he's at. He could be here. He could be here. Okay. When we don't have info, we do not pull the knife out. Glad no one was spectating. Bye, okay. bye, 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 bye. Well, not not nobody. Unless I am a nobody. I mean, maybe I am a nobody, but we we had a quite a, quite a bit of spectators. So here, uh, this is why I don't. Okay, All right, if you're just throwing the orb. Uh, what do you think is wrong with this play? I want to hear your thoughts. We have guns, and I should play with team. Okay, yeah. You do not want to take first contact. You want to let your utility take first contact, okay? So maybe playing on site, and then playing around your smoke orb and your wall, instead of pushing in front of your utility. You're not getting any value out of your utility. You set up your utility, you push past it. So then it has no value. So therefore, you, you might as well just be a duelist. Okay, um, you want to ult at the start of the round, usually. What's good to do is ulting a choke point. Yeah, yeah, so the, the idea with Viper ult is you're not gonna have a time or a chance to really use your Viper ults reactively. So you wanna use it like proactive. Okay. Uh, Watch out this yeah. This is the problem with ulting reactively, you know what I mean? There we we have to just ult early and then have your team stack the other side. And it just gives you guys better control. So, uh, uh I don't like this this 1v1 area. Yo, just stay, Viper. Okay. One on site. This is better positioning. Uh, so a better wall would be like this. Let me show you. You go and cut it like this. And the reason why this wall is so good is because it cuts like this. Well, they can't just push in. They just can't do this if the wall is up. So they're worried about this. And then after they cross this, now they have the one for sight. Basically, it it's like it's extra steps. You're, 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 you're causing them to slow down a bit. Okay, you want to play B? All right, here's the problem with B is there is no good Viper wall. Spike down. Don't, don't, don't. So, okay, look. Look at the way that we're peeking here. Spike. Look, look at where our crosshair is. Spike down. Look, don't. boom, boom, don't look at our crosshair. Look at our crosshair. Look at where our crosshair is. Is this where their head is going to be? And our crosshair is not, it's not ready for that. Okay, another thing too, you're you're peeking with W. You're like, this is how you're peeking. You're just peeking like this. You want to peek like this. And then after you peek this way and you clear it, then you walk up. So this is this is how your movement should be. Also, I would practice bursting. I would practice bursting and strafing. That's like a big thing. Take a couple shots, two, three shots like you did, and then strafe, and then two, three shots, strafe, two, three shots. Practice on the practice range. Free kill. Okay, so we have this issue where we are crouching and bursting. If you're gonna crouch, you should spray. And if you're gonna burst, you should strafe. Stunning. Oh, this might be a free one. Flashing. No. Two hops. Two hops. The ult doesn't get 
deep enough into the site where it covers the bomb and they can kind of play out of the old. It kind of gives them a little bit too much space to work with. So crosshair placement, look at this. See what I mean? Look, look where our crosshair placement is where we're, when we're actually peeking angles. Your crosshair should be an extension of your eyes. Wherever your eyes are looking is where your crosshair should be. Deadly weapon was that? Killed Sova Tower. How's this working? Okay. On your right? Have his gun reloaded. Oh, crosshair placement's better? A little? He's on the right. Nice. God, I hate looking at flashes. Wait, you're hitting people. I have ult. Wait, ult you right literally down. lit up like three people. Oh my God, you're, pu you're pushing in here? Mess them up. Oh my God, the knife out. Okay. Okay. Guy 22. Look at our crosshair, right? Always where your eyes are looking. You're on site. So like we we're, again, it's going back to what I was saying, right? This like bursting and uh, crouching. Your gun control is the biggest thing right now to work on, and cross replacement. Those two. Uh, okay. So with Viper, so you're prioritizing the ore farming rather than being with your team here with your walls. This wall also is a little bit too too deep. So there's a couple walls you could do. One like this, and it gets you in a sight, or another one from spawn here that it cuts like this. Both of them are okay, but this one's way too deep. As someone who came from your YouTube. Are the Both length of these down. streams how you I upload drop. so often? Uh, we do do like, oh, guy, what was that? There's a reason they said I'm a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Oh, maybe we throw a wall for them? Yeah, this is good. Yep, activate, throw it up, throw it up. Oh yeah, maybe you grab the sword too. I already saw you, so might as well. Yeah. Sage behind us. Now hey, you bait your power. team here. Ah. I would have hard baited them. Flash okay. All right. Nice little molly. I like it. One's inside, inside, underneath, underneath. He's walking upstairs. Walking upstairs. Nice. Three v one. You're all actually low. Stunning this guy. I would throw another molly, maybe. Okay, sixty-five, sixty-five. Yeah. So you about to judge here? The goal is to get in the side. You're baiting your teammate. Good. Oh, I would have done it a little bit deeper, but this works. No, 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 no. You, you just, you go out. You're so close to the edge. You're so close here. You just swing this. Okay, we're, we're, we're focusing too much on the orbs. So by going by yourself here and trying to farm orbs, one, I, I would have liked you for, I, I would rather you lurk up. You can, you literally, you, you use the wall just to get an orb. Your wall is a lot more valuable than an orb. Your wall is very, very important. It, it can help your team get into sight, but you using it just to get one orb, that's not worth it. Okay, so now I would grab the orb, right? Now getting the orb isn't bad. Now you're with your team, right? Okay, I don't mind the lurk. I actually would have went underneath the lurk. Oh, this. Free kill. One more close. All right, reloaded a bit too early. Careful with your reloads. Only reload when you're around the corner and you're safe. I think you're preemptive. You're reloading way too quick. I usually never reload. Like, I will have five bullets in my chamber and I still don't reload. So, flank, flank, flank. unless I'm, like, safe and I, I have, like, enough time, right? Okay, so you're going for the ult again, right? Satellite orb, ulting into sight. Mm, okay. Yeah. You throw a wall here to get into sight. Yep. Okay. You activate that instantly. Activate, 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 activate. Okay, a little late on it. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Piper, don't die. The chances. There's no way you lose this round. You just hide. Okay, these peaks are very risky. Peeking with the wall is down is. Ooh, we are exposed by like eight different angles here. You know what I mean? Like, look, look at the. Whoa, this is always be thinking about all the angles that you're exposed to here. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're only isolate. If you want to take this fight with a sage, you need to be back in the tower. So then you cut off these angles. 
exposing yourself to multiple angles is like one of the biggest things that you need to be avoiding so the only angle you should be exposed to is the angle that you're holding in this case the one that you're holding main so just isolating these uh 1v1s a bit better oh, sage. Sage. <laughs> oh my lord what is this diving oh my sage. god oh my lord that i'd be very mad uh, so Thank I probably would recommend being on your with, with your team, right? If they're Bates, gonna uh, rush into the site, you should Bates, be with them. Uh, anyway, that that's just unfortunate timing. Okay, okay. So I got the main things. We got the main things that I want to tell you about. So one thing that you do well, I think you have a good mindset. Uh, I think you know you you know you, you don't get tilted as easily as most people would, uh, and that's very good. It's very hard to find, and that's definitely a step in the right direction. Okay, so the biggest thing is basically gun control and crosshair placement, right? Your crosshair placement a lot of time is never really looking at where your eyes are looking at. There's a lot of time you're kind of playing for info and I can tell that you're looking somewhere with your eyes, but your crosshair placement is not reflecting that. Your crosshair needs to be a, an extension of your eyes. So wherever your eyes are looking, your crosshair placement, your crosshair should be. You do this thing where you kind of go into a crouch and burst and you don't want to be doing that. If you're bursting, you should be strafing in between your bursts. And if you're crouching, you should be going, committing to that gunfight and going for a spray. Uh, I would only recommend crouching if you are planning on committing and uh, bursting and strafing for like longer distances fights or if you're whiffing your your shots. Uh, another thing too is like I think you're prioritizing orb farming a little bit too much. It's good to do if it's free, but it's better to be playing with your team and using your utility w for your team rather than farming the orbs. Okay. Good, 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 good.